Hey guys, it's Doc, and I'm a firm believer that every single home should have a generator. I don't care if it's for hurricanes, which are coming right now towards us. I don't care if it's for the winter, for ice storms, whatever. I think you should have one. And what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you my top picks that I've been doing a ton of research on for months and months and months for the average homeowner. And I've also taken the time to write up a full web page on the website. So I'm gonna go over all that. And before I do that, you know, I think I'm the only person on one of my old videos to ever run a generator and film it during an actual hurricane. <laughs> so anyways, let's get going. Let's talk about generators. Now, before we dive into this video real quick, do me a favor, share this video, share it with a family member. If you have older parents or if you have kids, I say this later in the video, but share this video and make people start to think a little bit about, hey, what would happen if I didn't have power for one day, two day, three day, four days? It's just a real comfort to have a generator sitting around. If nothing else, to be able to power your refrigerator, have internet, have some lights, have a fan, share this video if you get a chance. Hey guys, just so you know, I spent all morning doing a full write-up on a page about the generators that I recommend, some of the things that you should think about as a homeowner. Um, just a, 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 what I think is a pretty good summary and resource for you as a general homeowner, what to think about when you're buying a generator. I actually put up a link to a, the best generator calculator I think is online. I put that up on the page. So I put a bunch of different stuff and I talk about what my mindset is when I look at a generator. I have a generator. Let me show you real quick my current generator. Over here in this mess over here, I keep it stashed away. This is... Gosh, I don't know how old this thing is. I don't want to say this is six years old, uh, but it's an old Briggs & Stratton storm responder, 6,200 running watts and 8,500 starting watts. This thing is a beast. And that's the one that I show using us using in during that hurricane. Now, I'm actually going to downsize, and I'm gonna tell you why, or if you read my post online, you'll see why. So, I've actually decided to downsize just a little bit because this thing was more than I needed, plus uh, my daughter and her new family with a six-month-old grandchild that we have, they don't have a generator, so I'm gonna actually give this one to them, and I'm gonna get a new one. And I went on Amazon, I followed my links, I went on Amazon, click, Sitting at, sitting at home, I put it in my cart. It's gonna be here on Tuesday. Today is Saturday morning. It's gonna be here on Tuesday, free shipping. I also put, and this is why I strongly recommend you, you follow my links on the website, is for $15, I got their Square Trade three-year extended protection plan. And I do that on everything I order from them. All my tools, all my equipment, all my electronics, I only order through Amazon. I do not go to a big box retailers. I go to Amazon and I put their Square Trade. I have used their Square Trade once before, no issues, no hassles whatsoever. So you get a three year extended on top of the manufacturers. Next, um, at the shop, we run a lot of water pumps. We have four or five of these champion water pumps that we have had for some of them up to six years and we'll stick them in the closet we'll run the fuel out of them we'll bring them back out and first or second pole they start up champion is a decent quality um manufacturer i'm not going to say that they're a briggs and stratton i'm not going to say that they're a honda but let me tell you what for the money they're a really good buy the one that i recommend is about 490 bucks it's a good size to be able to run the basic stuff and I talk about figuring out the basic stuff that you want. In other words, what do you need? If you're going to be without power for 12 hours to 24 hours or longer, you know, you need, you want uh, your TV, you want some lights, you want a fan because it gets hot and you want your refrigerator. Uh, just the basic stuff and that's the size that you're going to do. Now the calculator is going to show you and real quick, I'm, not, I'm going to run through a lot of material here so hold on. Uh, let's talk about the figuring wattage. What's interesting is, is when you calculate your watts that you need, you basically add up all the watts that you want to need. So if you want to run a TV, your cable, your internet, a couple LED light bulbs, um, you want to run a fan, you add that all up. But then you got to go back in and you got to add on top, on top of that the, the highest surge or starting watts. 
So as an example, a refrigerator may only be 500 to 700 running watts, but it may have a 2000 starting or surge watt. So when you hear your refrigerator kick on, or anything, even a heat pump outside, there's always a surge or starting watts that's different than your running watts. And so that's why you have to go up higher than the total wattage. And so I sort of did a little explanation on the website about that. So go to the website, howtoadoc.com, and you can see that stuff. I sort of explained that out for you. But trust me, this has been months, and I've been debating my pick and debating my pick. And finally, guess what? There's four hurricanes coming in. One of them's probably going to hit either Georgia, South Carolina, or North Carolina. And the reason why I always I, I have to have a generator is because we live in an area that has upper, that doesn't have buried power lines. So we have a bunch of big trees. We have down the road, we always have upper. Um, our neighborhood doesn't have them, but down the road that feeds into us, the power lines are all up on the street. And we always lose power. Have a bad storm, you have to lose power. Um, a year and a half ago, I think it was, we had the hurricane come through. Uh, we were without power for two straight days, 48 hours without power. Um, and thank God I had that generator. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I think about, but go and read and see my top pick on there for the generators. It's a dual fuel system. Matter of fact, I wrote down some information on it and why I think it's so good. Number one, it's dual fuel. It'll run gasoline and it'll run propane ready. So you can, I've always got two or three propane tanks here. I've always got three or four or five gas cans around. So I could probably sit here for a week and have power based on that. The other thing that's important to think about, now I used to live at the coast and I've been through a ton of hurricanes. Um, the worst hurricane I've ever been through actually though, and I talk about this in the other video, is we were living in Raleigh and we had a hurricane slam and come 130 miles inland and we were without power for seven to 10 days, I can't remember. Now that was a long time ago because my daughter was, she was like two or three years old. Seven to 10 days without power living in Raleigh, North Carolina, 130 miles from the coast. So it can happen. The unit that I'm talking about um, is the is the champion unit, but it's, um, it's a 3,900 watt running power, a 4,750 surge power, which is plenty for everything that we need, including my refrigerator. It has a frame with wheels on it. That's important. The weight on it is about 100 and 115 pounds. This big one over here, by the way, is 200 pounds. I hate pulling that thing out. That's one of the reasons why I'm downsizing it. It has an electric start and a pull start, both on it. It'll run nine hours on just over three gallon tank. So a 3.4 gallon tank, it'll run nine hours on gas. It'll run 10 and a half hours on a propane tank. Again, dual fuel ready from the start. Free shipping, I'm ordering on Saturday. It'll be here on Tuesday. You can get the three year extended warranty for $15 and the unit costs about 490 bucks. By far, after all my research, this is the best buy that I can find. Um, I have heavy gauge, I have one real heavy gauge uh, extension cord that I plug into this thing. I just run it through the window and then I have lots of little power cords. And then I have lots of little power cords all sitting around. And I use these power cords to run it anywhere in the house that I need it to. Um, I don't have my house hardwired in. I, I don't use it enough. Here's the other thing about quality on these. Um, for my lawnmower, I bought a John Deere. I wanted something because I knew I'd be running it every three or four days. I'd be running it almost all year round and I'd be using it year after year after year. It's going to get a lot of use. So I wanted a good quality product and I wanted to, uh, an extended warranty on it. Generators are different. Generators, you're going to pull them out anywhere from one to four times a year. You're going to run it for a few hours and then you're going to put it away. So long term wear and tear is generally not the issue with generators. The issue with generators is how do they store and how do they perform? And I can tell you right now from experience, over six years experience running these champions, they store very well. Almost first pull after being in storage for six months or a year, properly shutting them off, shutting off the fuel, letting the fuel drain out, making sure that I put the stable uh, fuel stabilizer inside of it. It, it works really well. Just maintain your generators, change your oil, do your general stuff and you never have to worry about them. Again, it's usually not a usage, it's not an hour issue because you're not running these things every single week, two or three times a week. It's usually once or twice a year. So let me show you where I put
put my generator. I think this is important too. And then you can see I have this sort of corner over here. And let me show you what I do with my generator. The important thing to remember about generators is a lot of it has to do with sound waves. Oh my God, look, there's a Jack Russell sitting there. <laughs> She's such an idiot. You are such an idiot. Why do you have to be such an idiot all the time? Don't give me that look. Don't look like you're a beaten dog, you spoiled brat. <laughs> She's hunting lizards. Anyways, watch out, babe. Watch out, move. Okay, so here's my corner. I have a brick wall here. I shoot my exhaust into this wall and I put up a steel plate. So the exhaust hits that steel plate. That plate gets a little hot, but it diffuses the heat really well. That also helps deaden the sound as well. Then what I do is I put my generator here and I usually put a board over the top or a metal plate over the top because it's gonna be raining and I keep the rain off of it. And then all I do is I run my cord around and I actually bring the cord in through the kitchen over here. And so now it's a very short run. So this is a great little corner. And what I do is I gotta get some more gravel, but I also put gravel down here so I put gravel down here, I have a heat plate. Sometimes I'll actually put a metal plate down, but there's nothing over here flammable, nothing I have to worry about, it's just dirt and gravel. And I just stick it over in this corner. There's a big bush here that helps diffuse some of the noise. The fence here diffuses some of the noise. So it's actually pretty quiet back over here. So uh, the nice thing about this corner is, is I can stick the generator over here. I can lock my gate. I can go to sleep at night. I don't have to worry about it. Everything is, everything is pretty quiet over here. Um, and it's safe and again I put something over it because if it's a hurricane it's gonna be raining and raining and raining all right so uh, next what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the uh, the usage calculator that I that I'm putting up and let me show you I'm actually gonna put up real quick is I'm gonna put up me using that so what I did was is I actually captured a screenshot of me going on here and you'll see at the very top of this screen you have your surge watts and then you have your running watts and what you can do is you can go through here and you can click the icons and at the top it'll keep adding and adding and adding. Now don't forget, one thing that I do is um, sometimes I'll add stuff that I really don't have. But I know the wattage is about the same. So I want to run my TV, cable box, modem, fan, lights, and refrigerator. So I add some stuff. So if I don't see something that's exactly the same but it's close, I'll add it to it so I can get a good calculator. And you'll see that's a great thing to do. That is a great tool to use. And I think you'll see that if you're like me, you just want some basic stuff on plus to keep your food from spoiling. Um, the, one that, the one that is my top pick is a great unit to buy. So remember guys, sometimes buying a generator could be a little bit confusing and I hope that this video solves that a little bit. The majority of homeowners want to run a refrigerator, some lights, some fans, TV, and electronics. This unit will do that and will do it really well and give the option of dual fuels, which I love. Plus, it's not a 200 pound generator. It's a generator that can easily be transported. So it's about 100 and 115 pounds, 119 pounds. Do me a favor, share this video. Like this video, hate this video, I don't care, push one of those buttons. And if you want to see some of our upcoming videos, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of those. Now, don't forget, I'm putting up and I'm going to keep updated no matter how old this video is. I'm going to keep those links updated on the website so that you can go on there and you can order and be, rest assured that hopefully it's there. Now, we've got, this is hurricane season coming up, or it is, a bunch of hurricanes out there and I guarantee you, I guarantee you, but if you try and go buy a generator at one of the big box stores here any day, they're going to be all sold out. That happens every single time. You're actually better off to get online now, put in your order through Amazon, have it here in two days. Hope it helped, guys. Duh.